Panasonic Avionics, take one. Panasonic Avionics has had over 40 years in this industry, you know, actually created the industry, IFE industry. And what's really nice is being able to build upon all of these previous capabilities and innovations that the company has worked with customers in order to bring to market, but to reimagine it and bring it to the next level and invest in new products and new software that can help customers really provide a unique experience uh, for their passengers and uh, tap the potential of the cabin. <laughs> We're becoming not just a company that produces world-class hardware, the best hardware that's available. We're also growing an increasing software and services capability to go along with that hardware. We're really leveraging the strength of the Panasonic organization uh, as a whole. We're doing a whole lot more with our, our TV business, with our automotive business, and the rest of our media businesses, leveraging that technology, leveraging that capability, and bringing it inside Panasonic to create just an absolute new set of world-class products. Okay, I'm just gonna mark this one, okay. Now take one, okay, everybody settle. When we, when we kicked off this project, the core tenet of it was to design a universal seat end Product. And the idea there is that, one, that it could fit in anywhere, uh, into any environment, any cabin, uh, and that uh, be compatible in the past with older systems as well as newer systems. You know, it could be upgradable, it was modular, and it could live with the life of the aircraft. There's nothing like this system on the market today, from its beautiful design, from its modular architecture, from its low weight. Passengers will be blown away by how beautiful the system is. It is a differentiator in this space. What's really exciting about this product is the industrial design and how thin it really is, and the way that it mirrors what's happening um, on the consumer end and bringing this beautiful, amazing screen for passengers to use. The screen itself, we're absolutely proud to say that we've managed to bring high fidelity, true black OLED technology into the cabin for the first time the best in contrast ratio, the best in color definition. It creates this color gamut, not just of the 16 million colors you get in HD, but now a billion colors. Fantastic video, and then an edge-to-edge -edge experience. We've managed to get the edge margin of our screen to lower than that on an iPad, so it's absolutely wonderful. It is HDR uh, capable that enables us to put the latest content from the latest studios on there. It does no good to have wonderful 4K, pristine, ultra-high definition without focusing on the world's best audio capability at all. So we have some specific audio technologies that we build into the seat back. 360 spatial audio, so there's a complete sound field. Um, and so films uh, and television shows that are encoded with spatial audio will be able to uh, listen to that on their own headphones and get an experience like you get uh, if you were to have a full sound field inside of your own home, but all in your own seat. A passenger can come on board and it could recognize their status, the movies that they've been watching, you know, what they like to have in terms of their experience, and that can be pushed to the particular seat back. The airline's empowered to make all these choices without coming back to Panasonic, importantly. Passengers are really looking for more entertainment options, and so this system allows them to access their own personal subscription services, which means they get more entertainment options and also increased engagement opportunities. So one of the cool things from a consumer perspective, from a passenger perspective, is being able to use their own personal electronic devices on board. So when they step on board the aircraft, they're gonna be able to sit down in, in front of this amazing screen and have that two screen interaction, both with the seat back and also their own device. You're able to control the system from your cell phone. You can go backwards and forwards and navigate and use these fantastic applications through a companion app that you know, we, we deliver at the same time. Last year, we were the first 
IFE company to bring full cabin Bluetooth to the market. And that's something that's extremely hard. The cabin environment is very unique. We have two or 300 people in a metal tube or a plastic tube at 30 or 40,000 feet. Everyone pushed together closer than they are anywhere else. So having that Bluetooth being able to be managed and used inside the cabin. So now you can go into the airplane, you can control the seat back with your cell phone. You can use your personal headphones. In the future, we're gonna have the gaming devices to be able to be used as well. We have a phrase that we use, which is called charging anxiety. It's a real thing. People want to have their devices charged. So our new system can provide charging at every single screen, importantly, through flight. It means that about 90% of the world's laptops can charge at full rate whilst on the aeroplane. All of the tablets out there can fast charge. The phones can fast charge. And what that means to the airlines is they can now get rid of the AC power outlets that they have in the seats. An enormous weight saving, an enormous technology change for those airlines. So one of the great things about this system is the ability for the airline to really use the IFE as an extension of their brand. So the, the cabin experience is part of a signature of an airline. It's something that differentiates them from the other airlines out there. And airlines realize that uh, lighting can be a, a really effective way to brand an aircraft. And so one of the unique things we have with this new system is to bring lighting into the system itself. By having our architectural lighting built into the system itself is add to that experience, create that welcoming point all the way down to the seat, so it's no longer just at the aisle, it's at the seat. You can have lighting scenes all built into that gorgeous design element. Airlines are gonna be struck by the elegance of this new system and then surprised at the modularity of it that allows them to change and adapt this system over time. The challenges uh, historically with uh, aircraft systems, with IFE systems, is that it gets installed in the aircraft and it stays there for decades. If you look at some of the older products when you get on an aircraft, you can really tell something that's 10 years old or 15 years old. So we've built a system to be modular, something that can grow with the airline. As technology grows, our system can grow. It can evolve and it can be done simplistically with a great focus on cost for the airline through the life of the product. Equally what's important as we all think about you know, the changes in the economy, the rising fuel prices, our concerns about the environment. This is the system that focuses on weight. We have managed to take about 30% of the weight out of our previous generations. If you extrapolate this out over a 10-year life with one of these systems on board, it generates hundreds of thousands of dollars in cost savings, which are real cost savings that can be taken to our customers' bottom line. There's no question this system will be a major differentiator for airlines. This is a system of infinite choices, of building blocks. It's the absolute pinnacle in terms of design. It's the absolute pinnacle in terms of technology. It has a sustainability message that's likely unmatched in the industry in terms of weight savings. And it can provide a fantastic experience to their customer, to the consumer. With this system, we are pioneering the future of in-flight entertainment.